Well, good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody can hear me out there. Uh, there's a lot of people on this call, and it is really exciting to hear. I want to thank you, Kelly, for all of your introductions, and thank everybody for taking the time to hop on this call. Um, I, uh, I did just get a message. Thank you for letting me know that, Randy, that people can hear me. Um, we are very excited here, and the company is doing some wonderful things, and we have an IT team that is just outstanding and working through all of the stuff that we're working through, and we have the opportunity today to meet one of our head IT gentlemen. Uh, this man has done a lot for the company since he's come on board, um, and he's continually there working as Jay Boramio, and I... I've had the pleasure of working with him time and time and a very intelligent man, and we won't take much of his time. I just wanted to bring him on the call for a short time and try to explain to everybody from a technical standpoint what he sees and what he's doing. And um, I think that I can have you talk. Are you there, Jay? Yeah, I'm here, Steve. Can you hear me? Awesome. I can hear you fine, and uh, I uh, just wanted to make sure we could hear you. I'm going to have Jay run with this for a little while, folks. He, he, he's going to just tell you some of the technical things, and he's been out straight and working his tail off and trying to get us where we want to go, but I'm going to let him explain a little bit to you. So, uh, Jay, go ahead. You've got the line. All right. Thanks, Steve. Uh, thanks for the introduction. And hello, everybody. Um, I came on board with Telex Free a couple months ago to try to help them. I get over some of the technical challenges that comes with a company that's dealing with such tremendous growth as uh, as as they've seen here over the past you know past six months. Really, the growth has just been tremendous, and um, when you get that kind of growth, there's technical challenges that come with it. People like to say it's a problem we'd like to have, but it's uh, unfortunately you know challenging to say the least. But during my time with the company, I've learned a lot about the way that they do things and uh, how their technology works. And my experience has been in network marketing technology solutions for the past 10, 12 years now. And so I've got some things in mind and some things that we're taking on to help them um, deliver higher quality of service, uh, both on the telecom side, but also on the um, technology side that you all use to do your business and recruit others to join in the back office and things of that nature. So I um, can't speak too much on where we're going, but I'll let you know that the road ahead is graced with some awesome technology to help the company deal with its growth uh, moving forward. And once we get through that transition, uh, growing to any end is going to be quite easy. So. Um, Bear with us through these little times we have right now with the challenges, um, but hopefully we can uh, we can get through them with some of this technology offers you guys a better platform. Um, there's some talks about having a mobile platform so you can you know, see things from your mobile devices and and uh, just have a better experience all the way around. So, um, Steve, if you have any specific questions about where we're going, uh, I'm happy to answer those, or if you'd like the information about something specific. Um, yeah, you know, uh, some of the stuff that people ask me all the time, and I'm not sure where you can go with it, but uh, things like the binary don't seem to be that accurate. Do you feel that will get more accurate as we move into this new platform? Well, one of the things that the new platform allows us to do is have a, a very structured model in which to run a commissions against. And um, we have some challenges with the binary calculation right now that we're working on. Some, some things were fixed just this past week, and there's a couple things still lingering out there that we're working on. But uh, the new platform has a commission engine that powers some of the largest uh, international network marketing companies in the world. So it's a proven method to uh, to do comp and calculations and uh, in real-time, actually, ca calculations. So you can actually see at any given moment where you are, where you're going, uh, without having to wait for some report to come out. So it's a very powerful system um, for all commissions, not only binary, but uh, any other commission or bonus plan that is uh, in that system. So although it'll take a little time to get there, it's uh, it's really a, an awesome proven solution. And uh, will that uh, that'll give uh, agents more access, more information in their back office, is that what you're saying? 
Yeah, the reporting that you know the system offers is you know, probably the leading um, reporting engine uh, that's out there, and and we can always grow upon what they what they um, offer out of the gate. But uh, anytime you have the data, you can effectively report on the data. And um, in this commissioning engine, the way that the data is stored and uh, you know calculated against um, allows you a much more robust method of real time reporting. And um, how about uh, um, like tree upline downline communications? Is there a way to enhance that in the new platform? Well, the new platform offers the ability to kind of do whatever you want. And currently, you guys have kind of a very generic binary viewer which gives you some information about those in your downline. Um, the system out of the gate gives you some very robust reporting against the binary viewer so you can get information that you have coming to you. Uh, the ability to communicate with your downline um, is something that is available in the system, but we don't essentially know how we're going to use that yet. So, uh, you know, different companies have different models on how they allow their teams to communicate downline within the system. Uh, so that's something that will have to, you know, be discussed at great length so we can determine how to protect the privacy of those in the system that are, may not be here personally enrolled or things of that nature, but definitely has an effective method for communication. We just have to determine how to best use it. That's fine. And uh, the uh, new platform, another question people always have for me is, uh, you know, as you have seen in your uh, move into uh, what we have, uh, there's been a continuous stock issue, uh, inconsistent, over-consistent, you know, they, the amount of accounts that agents get um, doesn't, you know, it always, always seems to be a challenge. Do you feel like the new platform is going to be able to work through that much more clearly and easily? Yeah, and effectively, all of the challenges that you see in your existing system, whether it's, you know, stock or binary calculations or things of that matter, have to do with the way the data is stored and the data is reported on. And um, the platform that we're going to move to offers a very structured model for that type of information. So uh, once the, it's defined how the stock gets generated, for instance, um, it'll always be definitive. So there should never be a challenge as to uh, how much stock someone has when they, you know, when they purchase a, a product that offers stock, uh, they get granted that stock and, and then that's just it. It's, uh, it's very cut and dry. So it's, uh, it's, it's more of having a structured platform to rely on than anything else. And once we're in that platform, all the things that uh, rely on that platform have the same structure. Awesome. So that means that as we add new products, uh, it's an easy add-on into the new platform. Yeah, new products are a simple add-on in the system. It's, uh, it's very, um, very easy to add new products and or uh, new bonuses or change the bonus that's on a particular product. So... Again, the system is designed to allow you to manage an international network marketing company. So all the things that you need to do in, in those capacities are kind of built in to the platform, and we just configure it uh, to use it the way we want to. And, uh, and the hard part is what we're facing now, and that's getting all the existing data into the other system, right? We're moving from, from one system to another, and that's a painstaking um, process because, you know, the devil's in the details. So every detail has to be well thought out and determined. How do we get it from here to there? What does it mean? What are the dependencies? So it's, uh, it takes a while to do it. And fortunately, we got a lot of smart guys uh, in, inside here that we can use to, uh, to make it all happen. So I feel like we're going to have a very smooth transition, uh, but it's going to take some time to get there. So do you have any idea how much time that is? You don't have to commit to anything, but uh, no, it's a it's a timeline is is tough. Um, guys like me never like to put a timeline on anything, but um, I would say that over the next three to six months, you could foresee um, a new platform behind uh, the business at hand. And uh, with that, but prior to that time, um, you know, hopefully we'll have some items out in beta, and uh, we could have some trusted people in the community. Uh, maybe help us test those things or be on board to allow some focus group and get some information back from the field about what they like or dislike so we 
know when we come time to deliver the final transition that we're going to deliver something that works for everybody. Excellent. Um, well, I won't keep you much longer, Jay. I have one more question. This seems to be, you know, I, I have some agents out there that are talking, and they always say things like, I, I don't I don't understand why we can't just change this or change this. And, and my my answer to that is there's just pages and pages of code, and you can't just change one thing. But I don't really know the technical answer. Is there a technical answer for them, or is it just? Well, there's... um. There's always a technical answer, but in general, kind of give you uh, an idea that you can rely on. Um, things that, you know, a single person or maybe a small group of people would like to see change um, is not always the priority of the development team. And so we look at globally, where are we, where are we going? Oftentimes we're changing things because it's, a, it's of a specific need. Um, you know, we've got thousands of, of thousands of people that have a need, and so we have to prioritize the need based on, you know, how we see it best affecting the global community of uh, customers. Um, oftentimes, we see those changes, they have dependencies. So while it might be a simple change or appear to be a simple change, there might be dependencies on downline that, does, that don't allow us to make that change without redesigning the way something in the background works. So it's always challenging. Anytime that you have the growth that Telex Free has experienced in a short period of time, it's the software that suffers because um, software is doing all this stuff to make uh, people get the information that they want to have and be able to do what they want to do. And so um, we're kind of unfortunately running in the background right now trying to catch up with our own growth. And my goal is to make it so we're always ahead of the growth and, and we know with some in a definitive space where we're going. Um, most companies that develop software and product method like we have uh, will we'll have a product roadmap. And as we get through this transition and migration, we'll have a solid product roadmap to know what are we working on, when, when are we going to deliver it, and what uh, what is that product. Uh, and that product could be a product that's sold or a product that's delivered to our customers. Um, it could be a, something in the back office or some marketing campaign or something like that. So um, until you get to a point where you can rely on the systems that you have to do what you need to do, it's hard to create a roadmap because you're always kind of chasing your tail to keep up uh, when you have this type of growth. So um, we're hoping to get there, and as time goes on, we'll probably have a better model to display kind of what our product roadmap is uh, if we offer that for public consumption. All right. Well, um, I definitely appreciate your time and your input, Jay. And um, I know you could probably go on and on and on, but I know you've got uh, you've got a table full of work there. You've got to get back to, and I will let you go. And I uh, I know that we've got way too many people on this call to open it up for any questions or anything. So I just wanted to uh, let let you know that everybody. Um, out there is thanking you because I've talked to many of the leaders and thank you for taking the time to do this. So um, I'll let you run and you have an awesome day and uh, and I'll be talking to you later on anyway. Sounds good, Steve. Thanks for the time. And, and again, I'll, I'm happy to join the call anytime you want. And I'm hoping to meet a lot of you folks out in uh, the meeting in Newport Beach. I'm a Southern California resident myself, so um, it's easy for me to get to any of these West Coast meetings and I'm happy to join in. Awesome. Well, there'll be one coming up in July. I'll keep you posted on it. Sounds good, Steve. I'm going to stay on the call and then have a listen, so I'll be here if you need me. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All righty. Bye-bye. Um, well, back to uh, where we were a few minutes ago, and I did get some people asking me, you know, uh, what is going on with our site today? Um, there are some uh, uh, challenges that they're overcoming today and making some changes, uploading some uh, some changes in the site, but I wanted all of you to know that company-wide, it has been – um, a, a number of hours that our system has been relatively up and down today. So anybody that's on this call, you can let everyone else know that uh, the company will be crediting you for the ads for today because uh, it has been a very tumultuous day, and um, those are just the kind of things that we'll do when we have these kind of issues. Um, so uh, to move on and, um, and to get into some of the things that we're doing, I'm sure all of you have not heard about the company in Brazil that Telex Free has purchased. Uh, just so that you know, 
That is one of the steps moving forward that this company will be doing. This company will be expanding their footprint into all areas of the telecom in each country to help that country. That particular product and that company is an exceptional purchase in the country of Brazil. It helps our status. It gives us incredible brand recognition. And as we grow, as you all know, our biggest growth has been in Brazil. So that will be the base point where the first company is purchased to help increase our status and brand recognition. But as we grow through all these countries, and I know we've got people on this call from different countries, and I know we've got some great leaders on this call that are expanding internationally very fast. Well, as we grow into countries and we get to a point where we feel like we've got enough going on in that country, then that will be something that we'll look at in that particular country and move forward. It helps the company. It helps the agents. It lets all of you know out there that we are around for the long haul. And as Jay said, that as we move through what we're moving through, challenges bring opportunity. And I hope all of you understand that, that every challenge is put on the table. It opens up a new opportunity. And the team we have together, Jay being one of those, is going to bring us into the next level of what Telex Free has been. And we, in my eyes, we are going to become unstoppable. We're going to move down that road, and we're going to move down that road with a team of people that want to hang on as we go down that road. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about signing up new agents and some of the things that get put on my plate and customer service. Our customer service department here and in Brazil is growing. We have added on many employees here and in Brazil to help work through the customer service issues that are out there and signing up new agents. I'll tell you, some of the things that will help all of us when you're signing up a new agent, make sure that all of the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted exactly the way you want it. To then go back in and make any changes is a very big challenge. It takes staff. It takes time. And, and I would rather see the staff that we have here spend their time on much more serious issues. So you leaders and the agents out there that are signing people up, just do us and yourself a favor. Make sure that the application is correct. Make sure that at the, as the time being, needing to upload documents, which I'll go over that in a minute, uh, make sure that the documents match. Make sure that the driver's license is valid. Make sure that the signatures match. Those are things that we we'll look at, and those documents are there for your protection as much as ours. We do not want somebody to be using someone else's credit card and fraudulently making transactions. So these are all things that we're doing to make sure that we can grow the company where you want it and we want it. We want to change a lot of lives out there. We want to make sure these things happen as we go through. Um, make sure that um, that... The, the data, as I said, is complete on the application. I know I've got emails from people that have talked about uh, they put the business uh, their um, position in a business name, and then their bank account is in a personal name or vice versa. The way we are now and the platform we are now, and this will be changing very shortly, those two need to match. You, you can't have a business name and a personal name. They've got to match. So just as you put those in, make that will eliminate so many uh, stoppages. And as all of you know, the ones that are network marketers previously and the people that are coming on board that are brand new to network marketing, because I have seen people come in this business and start building fast that have never even been in network marketing. And that is awesome. That is an incredible, incredible opportunity. But what you have to do is educate them as they're coming on board to know that Momentum is everything. And for somebody to put in their application and to get stumped because of one little issue, it, it really it takes away from their momentum. So the leaders and the new agents and all of the agents that are out there, just take an extra couple of minutes and go through those applications and make sure that they're good. On the uh, second passwords and the passwords and anything that you're looking for correspondence back from Telex Free, You've got to check your spam, and I do know that there are some uh, email uh, clients out there that, that don't allow almost anything to come in. No matter what you do, you jump through hoops, and I know Hotmail is one of them that sometimes won't allow us to come in. Make sure that you find somebody that knows that email account and knows how to 
kind of maneuver through it and go into, there's a section where you can add serve, add email accounts to the acceptable email list. And 95% of the time, if you put us in there as an acceptable email list, you'll get the email. And that will eliminate a very large percentage of, of uh, issues as you go forward because that stops you. All of a sudden, you want to get in there. We want you to get to your money. We want you to see it growing and to get to it and to be able to receive it and be able to withdraw it. That's our goal is to see that you're all making money out there. So, so make sure that those steps are, are getting taken care of. Um, right now, we are still working with the support ticket. As we move down this road, that we will be increasing the ability of putting in customer service, whether it's a customer service company here in the States or whether it's just within house, increasing our um, ticket uh, um, solution. I know that sometimes those tickets sit out there for a long time, and I know that sometimes you might get really upset and angry and thinking they're not getting resolved. Everybody out there has to understand that with 800, 900,000 agents, whatever the number there is out there now, if 1% of them are sending in tickets or half a percent, it's a big number. And a lot of those tickets I have seen are because documents are having an issue or a second password is having an issue. So try to work those problems up front so you resolve them. And as we go down this road, yes, as Jay just said, Think about it, folks. Think about the new products that we'll be adding into our business. Momentum is, is awesome. We're growing by leaps and bounds. We're growing with an international footprint that is huge. We've got the right IT team in, in place now. We've got the right staff in place to grow down this road. So adding new products, think about what you've got. And, and I know we've got some huge leaders on this phone. I talk to them every single day. And I want you people to help the new agents coming in to realize, paint the picture of where they want to go. Find their dream. Find out what they want out of their business and where they want to take this business because it is limitless. Wherever you want to take this business, it'll take you. Now, think about the new products. You heard Jay say, adding a new product into the new platform, it's a flick of a switch. Think about some of the things we've talked about. I know that here in the United States, we talked about this, and this is a product that's going to be coming down the road helping people resolve their credit issues, helping people work on their financial issues. There's things in this business that you have access to that you never had access to before. You could have incredible income. Well, somebody that has been making thirty dollars or $40,000 a year previously, now all of a sudden they make more money. They want to know what to do with that money. They want to know how to manage that, that money. As we work, walk down that road, we are going to have products that are going to help them do that. And think about your network, whatever the number is, if there's 10 of you or if there's 10,000 of you, a new product comes into your business, we will manage the product from our end, put it into the new platform, and all of a sudden it's a new product in your back office that at a flick of a switch you can put down in your downline. That is just awesome. Um, think about people that uh, can help you with your tax issues because – most of the people coming in this business, as you all well know, they've never been business owners before. And that is the most awesome thing about a network marketing company. Everybody from every walk of life, whether they graduated high school, didn't graduate high school, or they graduated Yale, or they didn't even go to college, they can get in this business and they can build a business. But do you think they all understand the tax benefits of being their own business? How are they going to submit taxes? Should I do quarterly? Can I write this little thing off? What can I do? Well, part of that financial package will have a phone number that people are going to be able to call. Talk to an accounting firm that's part of the company that will be there to help you answer those questions. Those are all things that were coming. We are planning to build this company for the long haul. And part of it is to help all of you out there change your future. All of you build a future with us. I've built friends in this business in the short time I've been that are incredible. I talk to them all the time. I go, and it's not a handshake. It's a hug. And, and I'll tell you what, I had a family issue, and I said this last time on the call a couple of months ago. I had more support and reaching out from people in this business that I just met than anywhere else. And that's what we are all about. And that's what we at Telex Free want to instill. Yes, you know what? We've had our challenges. Yes, we've had our issues. But challenges and issues, as I said, bring opportunity. And what the challenges and issues have brought to this company 
is opportunities to say, you know what, our platform is crumbling. Let's move into a new platform. Maybe you're saying, well, you should have done a four months, six months earlier, but you know what? Shoulda, coulda, woulda has never worked. It's where we're going. We're building a future, and we're building a new foundation under this business that we're just going to pick up and put on that new foundation and build it to the next level that will help every one of you change your lives. So what I really wanted to cover is, A, I wanted to introduce all of you to Jay. And you heard Jay, if the timing works and the schedule is right, I can't make the promise, but he did just say if there's a meeting in the area, he will stop in. And as all you know, we are doing a meeting in July in Southern California, and it sounds like we may just get Jay, get Jay there to talk and say hi. And I'll tell you what, to have him on the venue for all of you to meet him, all of you to see what he's made of, it, it is going to be awesome. We're planning a lot of things. And this purchase in Brazil, it, it was exciting for the company. And I heard so much excitement out there in, in the field because it is for all of us. It's not just for the company. You are all part of this company as we grow forward. You all are leaders, and you can all make changes in your lives. So as you think about products coming into your business, think about where it's going to go and what we're going to be able to do. And I just want to recap on, on a couple of quick things because I know that part of part of our stump is – the customer service not being able to put out some of these issues and challenges, you all can help them dramatically, and that's making sure documentation is completed and uploaded correctly. That's making sure that email addresses are accepting our email. Now, there may be a few that it still won't work on, but you know what? That'll eliminate 95% of them. Work with your upline. I am now getting flooded with calls and emails, and it's taking away from my ability to really resolve some of the issues that are out there, and I don't want to do that. I want to make sure we go. So please, go to your upline and ask for help, and they will in turn either find the solution within their own access or bring it to us, and we will get them the solution for you. Build the future. Build ideas. Build a dream, and just keep moving forward. You all have all heard me talk about a penny a day. This business is a penny a day. And if you, none of you understand that, if I come to you today and I say, I want you to work for me for the next 30 days, and if you do that, I will give you $3 million if you work for me for 30 days, 95% of the public are going to say, give me the $3 million. The other option is, you work for me for 30 days, and I'll give you one penny on the first day, and we'll double it each day after. That is the solution, because if you do the math, at 30 days, you're $10,713,000. That is a lot more than $3 million, and that is network marketing. For the people out there that have never been in network marketing, just keep on putting it in front of people and move forward. We are not an investment company. We are not a company that you want to just plonk thousands and thousands of dollars in, get yourself a position in this business and build a dynasty. Get it in front of people. Help those people change their lives. Make friends out there. Don't just get somebody in the business and let them run with it. Build a friendship. Build a team that's going to help you and them get on to the next level. Because as you heard Jay say, we have a new platform coming down the wire. And let me tell you, folks, that new platform it's going to be turbocharged, and every single person in this business is going to be able to run with it and ride that turbocharge right to the next level. So I'm going to try to do these calls at least once a month, and as we have new stuff that's landing on the company and bringing it out to the field, but I've been hearing the pings coming on to this call since I got on it, and um, I am very excited for the numbers that are on the call, for the amount of people that are out there, for the leaders that are there, that are moving forward through challenges because you know what? A challenge is an opportunity. And please always remember that. And thank you all for getting on this call and God bless all of you. And I will see you all at the top and I will also be in California. I look forward to shaking every one of your hands and having a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you.